Hi, I'm Invalid Ghost, and today we're gonna play some more Oakme. I just wanted to start off here on the loading screen so that one, you can see I've been playing 18 hours of this game, and two, you can see that it it is <laughs> the the level is called Emperor's Body, which I just find funny. Anyway, let's go. Let's just get into the game. Oh God, you know what? I didn't notice this before, but like there's just like a constant heartbeat. Oh, I don't like that. That is not a throat hole. You cannot tell me that's what my throat looks like. That is not what the throat looks like. That's what the other end looks like. Ooh. There is a heartbeat in this soundtrack, and I didn't hear that before, and it's really disturbing and really loud. Maybe not loud to you guys, unless you're wearing headphones, but it's loud to me. Anyway, this thing. I, I need to talk to you guys about this. Why? Because I didn't really think about it earlier, the last recording session, but why is this on the ground? <laughs> where is his tongue? In fact, where is his teeth? And the rest of him. I'm trying to figure out how this makes atomical sense, and it just does not. But you know what? Whatever. Let's go inside to this man's stomach. I still don't remember this part of the game. I don't know how I blocked this part out of my mind, but I did. Oh, I didn't have to attack it, it just opened for me, that's great. I wonder what's in there. I have a feeling we're in for trouble. You're not gonna turn back now, are you, Amy? Wanna turn back? What? Why would I wanna- Why would I wanna turn back- No! <laughs> Good answer! Okay, you know the drill! Leap before you think! I should've barked, I'm gonna bark now. In three, two, one. There we go. You know, Isun, um, my sword is, like, going through your body. I don't know how you're still alive. Also, how is your cape just magically flying? Like, permanently. <laughs> is there wind in here? Oh, god, there are veins on the walls and floors. I don't even know what these veins are for. I, I don't think you have veins like this. These thick, prominent veins down your esophagus. I don't think that's a thing. I don't know what this is, freaking lava coming down from the ceiling. I don't, I don't know what the frick that is. Oh, but here's all the mist, and what, what is this exactly? I don't think this is anatomically correct at all. Because I don't remember, I, I, don't, I don't think we have a weird finger drop, whatever the frick this is. I don't, <laughs> whatever, oh, there's definitely a boss battle or some kind of fight here. I just dropped down into an arena. Why is there a sword in this man's throat? It's gotta be a tiny sword, too. Like, one of those, uh... Little swords that they like to put in burgers... ...in some restaurants. Some places might use them as, like, coffee stirrers. One of those things. Little tiny sword. It's like a toothpick, but it looks like a sword. No way! This is insane! That mist! It's alive, Amy! It is? I don't think that's a good thing. Is it spirits? Oh, it's spirits. Oh... God. It's Sword Man! That's what the kanji says. Sword Man, definitely. Under my control, this body breathes evil mist over the city. And you, Mutt, you dare attempt to clear the skies of my poison? Waging a- This dude's voice is real deep. Waging a battle with me. Nah, I can't do that. My throat hurts too bad. <laughs> Waging battle with me inside a human body will be no easy task. Even now, Gold Nail, the mighty sword. Gold Nail? What is it, a fingernail? <laughs> it's gotta be a tiny sword. I mean, we're tiny. Because we're inside of a person. It's gotta be a, a real, actual fingernail. <laughs> the mighty sword cries out for your blood. Come, step forward so that I, the indomitable blight, may cut you down. Okay. Oh, good. He soon will take care of him. Heh <laughs> I'll step forward, alright. You're a real piece of work, blight. Better say your prayers. Better pick a god and start praying. <laughs> you uncultured wretch. 
be warned. We are in the very bowels of the emperor. Oh god, we're in the bowels? Why do we have to- how did we get there so fast? <laughs> we were in his throat just a second ago, unless that dangly thing wasn't the thing in the back of his throat. <laughs> if we fight here, his body will not. Give me a break. A little action here will help him wake up. But never mind that. You're the one behind that poison mist. Possessing a human body may be an elaborate trick, but it ends now. With my superior blade, Denkomaru, which is literally just a thumbtack, I, the magnificent Isun, shall... Isun, I mean, whatever. Rend that hunk of junk you call a sword. Oh. Aw, oh, come on. Let him fight. Let him fight on his own. It would have been so entertaining. Alright, here, buddy. Go get him. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, what? You obtained Dragonfly Bead? <laughs> How? <laughs> um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Uniquely shaped bead that shines in multiple layers of color. Uh. Yay? Oh, God! Wait, what is that skull down there? I don't like that. Oh no. Oh god, he's like Virgil from Devil May Cry. What's he doing? Oh, he is like Virgil from Devil May Cry. What the frick? Specifically Devil May Cry 3. Oh my god, actually, you know what? 5-2. Ooh! Oh, Christ, what do I do against him? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do against this madness? Do I break his swords there? Do I do I throw Isun at the swords? Ah! Okay, nope. Uh, I thought he dropped oranges. He did not drop oranges. Do I throw him? Uh, get him. Here, you want a uh, bomb? Yeah, come and get me now. Okay, you did. I thought you would explode. Norton, now is not the freaking time. You know I don't even use Norton. It just, it came free with this computer. I switched to a different one. I switched to McAfee. Because that's the one that I normally use. Do I think it's better than Norton? I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> but anyway, Norton came free with this computer. Which is the only reason why I keep getting notifications for the stupid thing. Because I decided to just have Norton for free for a year. And now that I no longer have the Norton sus subscription, it's like, Hey, did you know that your subscription is- excuse me? You don't. Oh no, you. Oh no, you. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. No. <laughs> no. How about you don't? Get that sword. Yeah. Give me another dragonfly bead. Also, uh, how do I? Right. Right. This is how. Okay. Great. See, I'm still trying to figure this dude out. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually use a health item for once in my pathetic life. I'll just do that one. How the frick do I get out of here? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let's actually be serious. Okay. I didn't expect that. I don't know how I didn't expect that. I mean, I've, I've been trying to, like, learn your pattern, but I'm just kind of stupid, I guess. Okay. Oh, that's so much easier than what I thought. Oh, I'm gonna get bad on, like, time and stuff. I don't deserve that. Hold on, let me blow him up. Dang it, I was too late. Too freaking late. Okay, go get him. Woo! I got a vase! Somehow. <laughs> what did that say? The beauty will outlast what? <laughs> yeah, come get me. Oh, wow, you really missed that time. Missed me! Woo! A little slow there, buddy. You're a little too slow. Oh, oh. And that sword. And this time, this time, you're blowing up. Okay, how did that happen? Please, blow up here. Okay. It's not, it's not letting me blow it up. Ow, why? Okay, get no hold. Hey, be, buddy. Oh, I have no aim. I was like, no, I want my dragonfly bead. Get my, get my stuff. What the frick is that? A meat sack? I just got a sausage. <laughs> Come 
and get me. Come and get me. Ooh, you missed me. Ooh, you missed me. Come and get me. Ooh, you missed me again. Wow, you suck. Oh, freak. All right, all right, all right. This time, I'm blowing you up. Thank you. Dead. Sorry that took me so long. I just, I, I couldn't figure him out for a while. Goodbye, Blight. Nobody liked you. You were lame. Twelve-year-old me didn't even remember you. <laughs> I think I was twelve when I first played this game anyway. I can't remember. You obtained divine instrument. Exorcism beads. Ooh, a rosary! Yes! Let's switch the sword out. I hate this thing anyway. <laughs> Purifying rosary that contains the power of holy light. Sounds dope. Can't wait to use it. Light, a disease residing within the Emperor's body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed sword Goldnail, was the source of the acrid, 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 arcid, arcid. Nah, that's that's got to be it, probably. I don't know. Mist that had plagued the capital's citizens, citizens, citizenry. But even a creature so despicable and full of hatred was no match for our intrepid heroes, Amaterasu and Isun. Blight's defeat brought with it the lifting of the acrid fog. There's that goddamn word again. Acrid. Arcid. You know what? Give me a second. Acrid. Acrid. Acrid? Okay. I didn't expect accurate, but we learned now. I, mean, I knew what it meant, you know, obviously. It's not that hard to figure out, but I don't know how to say words out loud because I don't talk out loud, okay? I'm not stupid. I just can't say words. <laughs> accurate fog. The Emperor, now freed of evil's influence, returned to normal. Emma Tarasu and the others had earned a brief moment of respite. However, evil conspired to cut the tranquil scene short. From Goldnail's defeated form rose the familiar blackness. The spirit of evil and hatred that had resided within the sword, black as midnight and deep as the sea, rose slowly skyward. Make no mistake, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that dispersed from Orochi's broken body. Quickly and steadily it rose, then it shot off toward the distant sea and over the horizon. It moved with purpose, as if to a rendezvous with a lost friend. Amaterasu and the others had no time to rest. The others? The others being... Isun, right? <laughs> Who are the others aside from Isun? <laughs> If they were truly to restore the capital to its normal routine, they still had to deal with the threat of the water dragon. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. This tale is far from over. Well, yeah, I mean, it would have been pretty lame if Blight was the final enemy. He was, he was like one of the easiest bosses that I've faced so far. <laughs> hey, you. Aren't you forgetting something? It, am I? Am I forgetting something? I mean, uh, it's likely. I forget things a lot. I, I'm very forgetful. I'm, I'm a very absent-minded person. If I were a sim in The Sims 3, that would be one of my traits. Absent-minded. I think that's a trait in The Sims 4 too, right? I don't think- maybe it's not. <laughs> no, actually, I don't- I think they took out absent-minded. Well, that sucks. <laughs> what am I forgetting? The fact that we're in a, the Emperor's body and I need to be spat out before we get pooped out? Because I don't want to be pooped out. That'd be real gross. You had it coming big time, gas bag. You aren't even in the, in the same league as the magnificent Isun. Well, Furball, that's that. How about one of those victory howls? Heck yeah. Oh wait, I almost forgot. That babe Kaguya's still locked up. Oh. That girl. The bamboo baby. The bamboo alien. <laughs> Amy, seems Pops is still snoozing away. How about we just take control and make him unlock her cell? Uh, are you suggesting we possess him? <laughs> From his bowels? 
Should we move up to his brain or something first? Why bother with waking him up to explain everything anyway? Huh? You don't get it, do ya? You don't get it, do ya? Watch and learn, my furry friend. Don't call me that. First, I'll stir up his stomach, like this. And then... And then we get vomited out. What the? Yikes! Oh. Never mind. He actually... It worked. Dots. What the? Hey, are you okay, Amy? Looks like we managed to make the Emperor stand up. Come on, we gotta get this royal oaf moving. Let's get him over to where they're holding Kaguya. <laughs> I'm the Emperor now! Woo! Your Highness, you're well enough to walk around again? That Kaguya girl was in prison just as you ordered, sire. But she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Er, um, not that I'm doubting your be bountiful wisdom, Your Highness. <laughs> not beautiful wisdom. <laughs> Alright, whatever, dude. I like how we move kind of from the stomach. You know, shows that we're still in there. It's nice. Your Highness, I know you have already refused to see a doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say your illness is what, sir, um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Boop, boop, boop. Are you the Emperor? But if you're here, does that mean those two are? Oh dear, it's all my fault. How shall I ever apologize? Hmm, let's see. How about you start off by making me a hundred dumplings? Huh? <laughs> just pulling your leg, sweetie. That voice... You think we'd buy the farm that easy? The Emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. But we took care of it. Things should get back to normal soon. Now let's make this royal oaf open your cell. Does he have demon fangs around his neck? That's cool. Let's see. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd never get out of there. No time for chit-chat, bamboo girl. We freed the emperor from that monster controlling him. But things are still a bit dicey around here. We're gonna hightail it out of this pl place. I suggest you do, too. Now, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Coochie coochie coo! Hehe, <laughs> I can tell what you want to do, Amy. I agree. That'll make it feel like we've set things straight here. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now give one of those victory howls to wake up the Emperor. Well, it's about freaking time. God dang it, I got a ball sack on time. <laughs> I knew it too! I was gonna say it earlier. I was gonna be like, man, I hope I didn't get a ball sack on time. And there I go. There I go, getting a ball sack on time. Would you like to save the game? You know what? No. <laughs> Good, we got the drunk sheep this time. That's a new poster. Mm, I wonder what was wrong with me. People say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya. And I remember a secret treasure for crossing a sea of fire. But I've totally lost my memory of what happened after that. Dude, it happens to me all the time, too. You get used to it. <laughs> it's almost like I was possessed by a strange spirit. Bah! Talk about a troublesome emperor. But Kaguya's safe and all. Guess we can cut him some slack. A white wolf and a curious bouncing ball. I have an uncanny feeling that I had a dream about you two. I must apologize to Queen Himiko for my unforgivable blunders. Himiko? Yes, that's it, Amy. This city's a complete mess. And Queen Himiko's not doing a dang thing about it. 
There's no excuse for her just sitting around in her palace. Boy, am I gonna give her a piece of my mind. Ah, the lovely white wolf. For some reason, I seem to feel so relaxed when you're around. Okay, we gotta get out of here, Yusun. I don't like this man. <laughs> I have this peaceful feeling, as if you know me inside out. Oh. You don't want to know, buddy. <laughs> oh, I know you from the inside, believe me. I'm collecting demon fangs, you know. Yeah, they're around your neck. If you have any for me, you can take some of my treasure. Ah, here we go, here we go. More demon fang treasure. People will probably say that I'm foolish giving treasure to a wolf. But you're my lucky wolf. I'm certain some good will come of it. Surely you've collected lots of them, eh? What do you think? Would you like to make a swap? Oh, yes, I might. A fog pot marked with a mist crest allows transfer between origin mirrors? Oh, that is so worth it. That is so much better than the freaking mermaid pawns. Because one, you don't gotta buy the mermaid coins anymore, and two, way more locations to travel to. That would be... That would be so useful for trying to complete the game. Okay, I'll think about it. Thief's Glove, that's... Is that new? Draw a line connecting Isun to an enemy to steal items. But he's not... But I'm not... But he... But he's tiny. How do... How would I do that? He's really small. I have to be very precise. <laughs> Still, that sounds cool. Golden ink pot. Eh, that's helpful too. But I really want that fog pot, so I'm gonna start collecting demon things again. Alright. Nothing right now, sir. Come and visit me again when you have more demon fangs to swap. I might have to play this game a bit off screen for a while. Just to get some more demon fangs and some more cash, because I need to get more moves too. Rooster statue. Nice. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, we got a new weapon. We got a new weapon. It's the third rosary. Oh, beautiful. Let's put it on. And you know what? You can be our new sub-weapon. Grant's ink bullet power. That's different. Hmm. wonder if you do anything with the right click, then. Guess we'll find out. We'll figure it out. Oh, I don't look as cool, though. You know, the sword does make a really big... ...visual difference. The rosary's kind of lame. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty lame, but it's my favorite weapon. It's my favorite weapon in the game. I gotta have the rosary. Give me that. Nice. Alright, there's one over here. Don't think I didn't see it. I'm trying to 100% complete this game. Of course I'm gonna see this. It's a stray bead. wonder if there's a demon fang reward to help me collect those. Wouldn't that be nice? Excuse me, I can get you. Don't lie to me and say I can't. Mine. Crystal. You know, it's gonna be pretty annoying getting back here. But so much treasure in this dude's yard. Alright, I think that was it. Okay, let's get out of here. Find Queen Mikoto. I mean, Mi Mi Himiko. Mikoto is from Fire Emblem Fates. <laughs> Wrong queen. She's dead. <laughs> Sorry, Corrin. Okay, how do I get out of this place? <laughs> Emperor, how do I leave? Wait, was this garden where we were tiny? Did we explore this garden while we... We did! This is the place where we were, where we were tiny. This is the man with the broom. This is the small bamboo thing. This is the poisonous water that killed me. That I can now s stand in freely. That's so cute. I love that. And that's her cell. So we were on these little rocks looking at her. But wasn't there water? Here? Well, whatever. It must be little tiny puddles or something. That I just can't see. Alright, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Help me, Emperor. How do I leave your palace? I thought it was this way, but... Oh, it is this way. Okay, I just didn't go far enough. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't even notice this before, but there's tigers on your, uh... On your thing here. I love tigers. My favorite animal. Anyway... Queen Himiko, Himi, Himi, yeah, that's the right name. 
<laughs> oh, Kaguya. You're still here. Hey, a bamboo girl. What are you doing spacing out here? I mean, you're free now. You can go anywhere you want. Oh, hello, you two. I hardly recognize you. You were so tiny when we first met. You certainly cut a dashing figure at full size. You think so? Well, actually, I hear stuff like that all the time. Huh? Oh, yes, I, I meant you too, Isun. Anyway, the city is a dangerous place right now. You should head back to your grandpa's house. That emperor fellow's got an eye for that treasure of yours, right? You should get away before others start sniffing around. Plus, your grandpa seems awfully lonely, you know. Really? Oh, I see. That dear old man thinks of me as his own granddaughter. I would really like to return, but... You're not his granddaughter? Yeah, you soon. It's an old folk tale in Japan. It's about this man who cut down a bamboo plant and there was a girl inside. And I think I already wrote about that in one of the descriptions of these videos. Because I do a Japanese fact in every video. Or I've talked about it, I don't know. Back when we found the dog in the bamboo, I was saying, oh, that was a reference to that, and obviously they, they even included the actual lore where it's a human and not a dog, and anyway. <laughs> you mean your real family lives somewhere else? Ah, uh, anyway, you should just go see him if you feel that way. Dots, I know nothing of my past. I don't even know who I am or where I came from. My first memory is of waking up in a bamboo grove. The bamboo cutter took me home where I was lovingly cared for. To repay his kindness, I helped him with his bamboo wear. If that's the case, then why don't you hurry up and go see him? I know nothing of my past, but I do recall one faint memory. Okay, and what would that be? I thought long and hard while I was imprisoned. It was the hardest I ever thought in my life. It was then that I remembered being in a small, dark room long ago. That's all I can think about now. Oh my god, she's Corrin. <laughs> and I feel I must get there as soon as I can. Dots. I cannot escape that feeling. Hmm, that's a pretty weird story. I mean, you don't even know where it is you want to go back to. Bits and pieces of my memory are coming back in flashes. I think I might have PTSD. Together they form a vision. I see a royal crest inscribed in earth and amid a grove of bamboo. I must go to Sasa Sanctuary. There it shall all become clear. We're going all the way back there? Okay. Huh, what's gotten into you? I mean, first with the dark room, and now you suddenly want to go to Sasa Sanctuary? I don't know where I, to where I must return, but I have this intense feeling in my heart. It drives me forward to my ultimate destination. It drives me to seek the royal crest. I must leave for Salsa Sanctuary at once. Well, I'm pretty sure the old man is there too, so that's fine. <laughs> hey, wait, Bamboo Girl, wait! No, oh, she's gone. Dang, she's fast. <laughs> she's just, she's disappeared. She's gone. Okay, but before we go there, let's do a couple of side quests here. And by side quests, I mean just one side quest, which is uh, blooming all of the cherry blossoms. Because that is going to be annoying, and I'm going to want to do that as soon as possible. Can I bloom the big trees too? Excuse me, big tree, would you mind being bloomed? Ah, thank you. Okay, yes, I can bloom the big trees. Just curious. Oh, fuck. not that. No, not that. Thank you. Don't pay any attention to it, weirdo. Oh, there's a chest here. How did I miss this chest? You obtained Infinity Stone. Yeah, I'm not using that. I'm not no weenie, man. I may have used one item, but that's the last item I'm ever gonna use. Unless I decide to use another one for some reason. <laughs> Bada beepu. Bada beepu. Thank you. I'm so glad I got double jumping. Makes traversing this city so much easier. Okay. Oh, this is number three. We're gonna get all the trees bloomed, I swear. Hello, child. Okuni. Why 
does that sound sound familiar? Whatever that weird thing you are you're humming. That sound that tune sounds familiar. In the ocean swims a mighty beast. Tis he. I can't follow it to your, the tune. <laughs> Tis he who keeps the sea at peace. Oh, what a magnificence we behold in this water dragon, oh, so bold. <laughs> it's a song my grandma taught me. Apparently, the water dragon that's causing havoc in the sea is actually a god from the dragon palace at the bottom of the sea. Did you know that, doggy? Nope. And I already forgot what you just told me. So I'm never gonna know it again. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I almost missed this. Give me that. Yay, I got a pearl. No, 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 no. No night time. We are not having night time right now. I cannot handle a scroll loading screen at this moment. Okay? Thank you for all the praise and the food. Bloom. Making the town pretty again. Making the town pretty again. Bloom. Bloom. Thank you. And, oh, there's a mermaid pond here. I almost didn't uh, find that. Gotta bloom this clover, too. Bada bee boo. Bee bee boo boo. Thank you. Bloom this. Trust me, guys, it's worth it. It's worth it. You may not think it's worth it, but trust me, it's worth it. Not just for the reward, but also because the town will look prettier. And I like pretty things. Oh, hey, buddy. Can I fish here, too? Hmm? Hey, Hoodhead, what you up to here? Oh, I bet fish went freaking up in price. I mean, down in price. God dang it. <laughs> I didn't abuse in the inflation. Darn. Oh, you were just in time to witness history in the making. I finally realized how empty the life of a sword collector is. Now I am hooked on the thrill of fishing. Will you not join me in my newfound passion? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to fish. I know how to fish, my dude. I know how to fish. I think I hooked something. Great. I'm gonna do this for a while. I'm having fun go- oh, frick. Got it. Smelt. Yes, I want to continue fishing. Aha! Uh -huh. You know, this fishing stuff becomes a lot easier when you realize that you have the right control button that you can use. I've been trying to use the left control this whole time. <laughs> kind of didn't, uh, didn't think about that. <laughs> Ooh, a crab! River crab. Ooh, a crawfish. Crawdad! Crawfish. Oh god, this one's on crack. Ugh, I didn't... Darn it. Darn it, no, the fish! No, please! No! I saw your underwear! I think he was wearing one of those Japanese thong things. Ah, that looks like a bass to me. Black bass. I knew it was gonna be a bass. Ah! I got whatever the frick this is. Oh, frick. I have to cut it again? Ah, I've got you now. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I don't know what the frick I was doing, but I got you. Give me that shark. Oh, catfish, I don't know what the frick it is. A sturgeon, okay. Yeah, it looks like sturgeon. <laughs> You're on a roll, champ. Don't give up now. No, no, no. Well, maybe. 
No, I'm addicted. Great. It's that crackfish again. Somehow I got it. <laughs> now that looks like a trout to me. Or a salmon? It's a salmon! Wow, the music got really hyped there. <laughs> Alright, what? Whoa. Okay. I don't know if this is a good idea. Alright, you know what? Just go into the water, buddy. Go into the water, get dragged. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Ooh! Starting to learn the fish's movements. Oh, thank God. I finally caught that stupid thing. I don't know what the freak that is. A oh, Hutchin! I've never even heard of that. Cool, great. <laughs> You're on a roll ch- No, 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 we're leaving. We're leaving. I gotta leave. You're right, we better get back to business. <laughs> don't ever let me fish ever again. <laughs> That was way too addicting. That was way too addicting. I wasted so much time there. Oh, what a thoroughly thrilling battle. I feel like life itself pulsing through my rod. I have discovered my reason for living. All right, chill out there, Jacob. Okay. <sighs> let's, uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's pretend I didn't get enthralled in fishing. <laughs> Who am I kidding, man? If a game has a fishing minigame, I'm gonna be stuck there for hours. <laughs> it's just a fact about me that you guys should probably be aware of. You know Minecraft fishing? You guys probably think that's like the most boring minigame in the world, right? Minecraft fishing? I will sit there for hours on end. I love it when it rains. Every time it rains, I will stop whatever the frick I'm doing in Minecraft and I will go fish. For hours, for as long as it takes. <laughs> I don't even know why I do it. You get like nothing from fishing in Minecraft. You get garbage. Uh, but it's worth it every time I pull up a, a, a name tag. A name tag, yeah. I usually fish for name tags. <laughs> You're a persistent one, aren't you, Moss? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Bah, Himiko's people all sound like a bunch of parrots. Maybe they can stand up to the evil of those monsters, but I bet they're no match for the brush techniques of the gods. Okay, that's great and all, but I'm busy. I still need to bloom all of the frickin' trees. I haven't done that. I was going to do that. And I'm not- I'm not done. Okay, okay, there's a lot of trees over here that need to be bloomed. I made the sun. I didn't mean to make the sun. I meant to bloom the trees. Thank you. To... Three... and four. Anything over here in this area that I should be aware of? Or just these trees? Ah, there's a little clover. Look at that, guys. Bada bee boo. Bee bee boo boo. Thank you. Pays to be thorough. I gotta 100% complete the game, guys. It means I gotta do all the clovers, I gotta do all the trees, I gotta do all the animals, I gotta do all the everything. Alright, you guys can be sticks in the muds. I don't care. Actually, you know what? I better just go bother Queen Himiko before I forget. Buddy, look. It's, it's crazy stuff. You're a persistent- oh god. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you mean, man? What am I supposed to do? Blow some wind? <laughs> that didn't stop them. <laughs> oh. Can you guys turn around? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I don't know what to do with you guys just yet, so I'm just gonna go away. I think I've got all the trees here. Unless I'm missing some inside the houses. I better go into the houses and check, just in case. Ah, there's two trees in here. Here you go, and here you go. Goodbye! Give me your stuff first. Good now, goodbye! 
And you two have trees too, and a chest that I haven't opened up. Wow. Wowie zowie. It's a bone! Thanks. I better talk to them. I'm never coming back in here, so I better just talk to them. Ugh, a dirty dog in my lovely mansion. Get away from me, you flea-bitten hound. This is no place for the likes of you. I'm gonna bark in 3, 2, 1. Oh, never mind. I talked to her instead of barking. And I'm gonna bark in 3, 2, 1. Okay, you. Well, well, it's not every day I have a dog visiting my mansion. Oh, I like him. What is it, little one? Are you hungry? Or have you fled here from the chaos over at the Ryoshima coast? I don't have anything for you, but you can stay as long as you like. Thanks, but I hate your wife, so I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, Rao. I don't want to talk to you. So I'm not going to talk to you. Nobody better talk to me out here. Hey, line of people. I don't know what you're doing here. Haven't you noticed the mist is gone? You should be celebrating. Oh, it's cutscene time. But no, I need to bloom the trees. Ugh, whatever. Sweet. The curse zone vanished along with that funky mist. Looks like the city's come back to life. Amy, bet you never saw a happen in place like this a hundred years ago. This must be exciting for you, being from the country and all. You know what? <laughs> I'm about to flick this flea right off my head. <laughs> Why can't I eat Isun? You know, patience has its limits, bug. Now I know you don't want to have fun, but I know you just want to have fun, but don't go too overboard. I mean, I don't want you to forget what you're supposed to be doing. Shh, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I gotta go to Kaguya and Sasa Sanctuary, blah blah blah. I don't feel like it. Have I been in here yet? <laughs> what even is this place? A restaurant? Uh, the afternoon is so real- Oh, why are you a cat? <laughs> what the frick? It's a furry! The afternoon is so relaxing. I mean, everything's already. Now all we have to do is wait for the customers. Is this a furry restaurant? What is this? <laughs> it's like it's a cat girl restaurant. She's even got a tail. She's even got a tail. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> hey, are you a furry too? You are. You got whiskers and a nose too. Hello there, pup. You look like someone who appreciates fine cuisine. Proper diet is the key to life. Eat well and be healthy. I'm Yama, top chef in Saiyan City. Pleased to meet ya. Why are you a cat? Why is the woman a cat? Why are you both cats? Fiery Chef Yama. And what kind of... Is that a tail or a fan? What is on your butt? What do you think about this huge pot and this giant stove? Impress impressive, eh? I invested every yen and my name into them. I had to get some special order for what I'm aiming to do. Ever heard the tale about that mushroom? Dude, do you want the golden mushroom? <laughs> I have, I've been saving it for a special person. <laughs> and I think, I think you could definitely use some mushrooms. <laughs> Why is there the infinity sign back there with the, it's like on fire? There's not a single chef in the world that doesn't know about it. I'm talking about the legendary golden mushroom. I've spent decades trying to master the culinary arts, but I have yet to make a dish that truly satisfies me. If only I could get my paws, my grubby little paws, on one of those golden mushrooms. I'm sure I could prove my true skill by making the ultimate dish. I already have this huge pot and giant stove. All I need now is a golden mushroom. Then I'll master the art of cooking. That's my dream. Thoughts. Hmm? Could it be? Is that? Is that the legendary gold mushroom? That sparkling gold color? That captivating shape? Yes, there can be no doubt. Where in the world did you find it, pup? I don't even remember. I can't remember if it was like the mafia moles that gave me it, or if it was... No, they gave me tea. I think a random shop owner... Oh! Wait, I gave the tea to the shop owner, and he gave me the mushroom. <laughs> That's right, of course. <laughs> This has been a weird side quest, you know, I'll admit that. <laughs> oh, never mind that. With this mu with that mushroom, I could fulfill my dream. My dream to master the art of cooking. Please, pup, please, I must have that mushroom. What could a dog do with any- I don't know why I decided this guy was southern, but we're going with it, okay? <laughs> it's the easiest accent I can do, because it's my own accent. <laughs> offer the gold mushroom? Yeah, just offer him that gold mushroom. Really? Oh, thank you, you're such a good pup. With this gold mushroom, I will attempt to make the ultimate dish. I don't know what I was about to say. It was an ultimate, though. <laughs> My long cherished dream was finally be fulfilled. Great. 
Mm -hmm. Oh yes, the old dish. I was so overwhelmed by emotion when the legendary gold mushroom came into my paws. Not a day has passed without my preparing this huge pot and giant stove for this day, and now the time has finally come. I shall wait no more, pup. Today the fiery chef, Yama, will prepare the ultimate dish. Now watch carefully, pup. You may learn a thing or two. Behold, Yama's super deluxe fan the flames dance. I'm disappointed he doesn't have a tail. Oh, God! Uh, right. I'll help you. Uh... Am I supposed to do something else? <laughs> well, what? The pot's not getting hot enough for the ultimate dish. I fanned so, fan so hard, but it didn't even come to a boil. Maybe I didn't stir up enough air? I'm beginning to wonder about this guy. Hey, what's with... What's up with that thing back there? Isn't that the mark of Moe Gami, the god of Inferno, drawn on it? Did he put that there thinking he could harness the power of Inferno to heave up this huge pot? Did he really expect the gods to answer his selfish prayers? Dude, I'm a god. I'll answer your selfish prayers. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. How do I draw the... Oh, god. <laughs> I did it! Can I do that on monsters? That's so cool. Oh, it's a new power! It's a new power! Yeah, I forgot to mention, guys, but sometimes this happens. You get you get extra powers with your powers. It's cool. It's it's you only get these if you do the side quests, though. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they're part of this main story. I'm pretty sure you can complete the game without even doing without even getting these things. I think. Don't quote me on that. But from what I remember, I think you can you can pretty much skip out on these things. And I don't remember how many there are. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, Amaterasu. This might be the only one. <laughs> uh, Amaterasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I forgot what voice I gave to this giant chicken, but that's okay. My power had diminished while you were away, but that man's zeal and your own pure heart have restored my power. I have harnessed his fev fervent energy to bestow upon you a new power. Unleash your wrath in a mighty fire burst. Dope, can't wait. Yeah, the powers get upgraded sometimes. Ooh, uh, there's food! I did it. My long chair stream, the ultimate dish is ready. I give you rice stew eruption. Well, what do you think, pup? Pretty impressive, eh? Yes, man. Can I have it all? Ooh, 50 crates. Not bad, but we can't tell how it tastes just by looking at it. But enough about that. I never thought you'd get the power of Moegami here, Amy. Remember that mark on the wall? Draw that and you can invoke the power of Inferno anytime you want. Use it to reduce those mean old monsters to ashes. I can't wait. <laughs> they won't know what hit him. You consumed rice stew. Specialty of the house. Fills astral pouch completely. Oh, then the rest of this is useless. Well, I'm still gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I got yin too. Inferno tech. Da 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 da. I wanna break his pots. I don't know why I couldn't break his pots. Gimme. Thank you. Can I burn things? I want to practice this power. Huh. Do I have to do it a certain way? Okay. Dang! That uses a lot of ink, though. Okay. How many ink pots does it use? Does it use three? Yep. Definitely uses three. <gasps> Dang! But that is worth it. Oh, wait, let's talk to that furry chick one more time. <laughs> it's not every day you see a cat woman walking around. A big smile is the key to serving customers. Cool. So are you a cat or a woman dressed as a cat? Because it's confusing me. And is that guy a cat? Because he didn't have a tail. Well, whatever. I got the power of Inferno. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that was the coolest thing we've done so far <laughs> in this entire game. The mushroom was worth it. The whole mushroom side quest, as crazy as it was, was definitely worth it. I don't know what's happening over here. Why Why are you not allowing me to bloom you? Do I need, like, an upgrade of my bloom or something? Like, why, why are you still cursed? Be uncursed. Hmm. 
Alright, let's bloom all of this. Oh, can I bloom multiples, please? Bloom multiples, please. Okay. Sorry, let me... There we go. Bloom multiples. That's wind. Bloom. Thank you. Jesus. Why is that dead one brown? I don't know. Bloom. Yay, I got all three. Nice, everything's pretty now. Oh, you. Let me sell. Now the mist's gone, so there are... Now that the mist's gone, there's a lot more people coming and going. The water in the canal is clean again, too. Maybe now the fish in Lake Beo will come back. That means there'll probably be people fishing here again. Mm. Whatever. Let's sell. Oh, it's barely anything. <laughs> okay, river fish, go. Smelt, go. Crawfish. Go, goby, go, black bass, go, salmon, go, hutchin, go, keeping my whopper, sturgeon, go, cutlass, I'm keeping you too. No, oh, who am I kidding? I'm not cutting, I'm not keeping that. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, but I'm keeping my whopper. It's too special to me. I can't, I can't just sell that. Oh, there's a person who needs our help over there. This one also won't bloom completely. Huh. Well, that puts a dent in my plans. Is this another child? Momotaro? Are you a monkey child? Why do you look so strange? Huh? I see you, you evil white puffball! Hehe! <laughs> I'm pretending to be a demon hunter. It's a game where you defeat monsters from Oni Island. That's another, uh, Japanese folklore thing. Cool. But it's all just pretend. I'd be too scared to do it in real life. Hey, do you want to pretend to be my servant? Okay. You don't look like you take much notice of what people say. Would you pay more attention if I gave you some food? Not that I have anything I can give you, mind. If only I had those millet- millet dumplings Grandma made for me. I'm sure you'd love them and then we could play together. I must have dropped them when someone bumped into me before. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. That strange mist that was all over town is gone now, but my father still hasn't been able to wake up. Rumor has it that it was the mist making everyone ill, so why won't the gods make my father better now? All I need is medicine, then I can make him well. But I never have enough money to buy something like that. Herbal medicine. How frustrating. It's available nearby, but I can't get any. Don't I have some? I don't believe it! Is that what it is, doggy? You got some herbal medicine there, haven't you? How could a dog manage to get hold of something so expensive? Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Dots, why are you looking at me like that? Do you want me to have it? You offered herbal medicine. I don't believe it. You must have been sent by the gods, doggy. Eh, close enough. Thank you, thank you. Now I can make Pop better at last. Great. Where are we going? <laughs> Pop, is the medicine working? Oh, please let it work. I just want you to wake up, that's all. I want to hear your voice again. Oh my god, he's the freaking member of the Blue Man group. What happened to him? <laughs> he's a smurf! <laughs> what? Pop, wake up! I managed to wake him up! Pop woke up! I mean, I feel like I'm dreaming! Thank you, doggy! Thank you so much! If you say so. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, what about in here? This is a new area. Hello! Oh, what a worry that man is! Mrs. Fan. My husband's trying to come up with a fashionable new design. He's so absurd in the next room, he won't- Absorbed in the next room, he won't lift a finger to help me. Now of all times, and that rumor has driven all our customers away. Maybe you could go and give him a talking to? <laughs> what? That rumor has been a real blow to business, I can tell you. Did you see the row of willow trees outside our shop? People say a strange ghost appears there at night. Not that it seems to do anyone any harm, mind you. Perhaps it's just my hubby's laziness that's bad for business. Maybe you could go and give him a talk good talking to. Okay. I'll go talk to your husband. Hello, sir. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Sheik. Hmm, this is a real puzzle. Oh, hello, white dog. You want to keep an old worry wart company? I run this kimono shop, you see, but I feel it's time for a change. I'm getting a bit sick and tired of seeing the same old colors. I was just trying to think up an exciting new design. Kimono designer, Mr. Sheik. 
The thing is, it's not quite as easy as I'd hope. I'm such a, I'm at such a loss. I'm tempted to ask you for help, doggy. Okay, ask me for help, then. Do you think you can help me come up with a new design that could catch on all across the city? Take a look at that kimono back there. I found one that sim I found that simply by staring at it, one can draw inspiration. Yes, surely staring at it is the way to go. It's simple. What can I- what should I draw here? Oh god, I gotta make it cool. Ooh. Can I draw my mascot? You think it's possible? What does my mascot even look like? Uh, surely I can draw it from memory. I mean, it's been a few years since I've drawn it, but uh, sure. It starts with the hair. Right? And we got a hood on. Uh, can I start over? I already hate it. Here's my eye. And the face. Zipper. Eh, that's close enough, right? Make it look more like a hood. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, good heavens! How did that design end up appearing there all by itself? Maybe my inspiration worked on the kimono after all! Uh, can I change it? Because it's ugly. If a design miraculously appeared from the kimono being stared at, then maybe my inspiration's taken on a sort of divine quality. In that case, I can probably come up with something even better. Here goes, you could lend a paw too, white doggy. Oh. Okay. Okay, there we go. You guys can't see it, but my profile picture's off to the side, so now I can look at whatever the frick I look like. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be hard. Let's try and do it. As much detail as possible. First, the circle. Next, the hair. Eye. Teeth. This is ugly as sin. Hood. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's- that's terrible. I like the other one better, I think. Oh god. God, this is gonna be difficult. Maybe I should just do the cat. <laughs> I should do the cat instead. This is- this is hard. I only have a limited amount of ink. Oh god, it just gets worse all the time. What about my old logo? My old logo is very simple. That was back when I was just a blob. I loved being a blob, you know? I wasn't a blob long enough. <laughs> I think I had a G on the chest. There we go, there's my... <laughs> it's beautiful. That looks kind of wrong. <laughs> that just... Mm, I don't... Mm. <laughs> Please change it. Please change that. <laughs> I remembered why I, I switched from the blob to a more human look. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. What about the neon light uh, logo? That one could work instead. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. It's ugly. Okay, cat time. Let's do the cat neon light. <laughs> no, no, it's ugly. <laughs> but we're on the right track. I think the cat does look a lot better than these ghosts I'm trying to draw. <laughs> How about myself? The dog, Amy. Man, this is bad. I swear I know how to draw. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's the best one yet. <laughs> sure, you can keep that. I don't care anymore. <laughs> um, what have I been doing? I've completely lost my memory since that curse zone appeared. Well, there's one thing I do remember. I was on my way to the carpenter's house, so I was waiting for the fairy to take me there, and it's still not showing up, even after all this time. I'm sick and tired of waiting. I don't care what I have to use. As long as it floats, I'll try anything to ride along. Oh. Okay, buddy, well, how about a lily pad? 
A lily pad. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Come on, then. Let's go to the carpenter's house. Full speed ahead. Okay, if you say so. I hope this isn't timed. Oh, God, it's timed. <laughs> I hope this isn't timed. Uh... Um, does anyone know where the carpenter's place is? I'm serious. Where, where would it be? Because I have no freaking clue. Um, is it this way? Or is it, is it the other way? Hold, hold on. Can I, can I look at a map? I think it's this way? Alright, buddy, please tell me this is where the carpenter is. Is this the carpenter? Is that, is that the carpenter? Buddy? Is this, is this the carpenter? Is this the carpenter? Buddy. Buddy. Buddy, the carpenter. Buddy, it's right here, is it not? Buddy, the carpenter's right here. <laughs> Buddy, the carpenter. The carpenter is right, is right here. What? Can't this leaf go any faster? What do you mean? This is the, where the freaking carpenter is. <laughs> oh, it's where the freaking shining light is, of course. I knew that. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. We'll get you to the carpenter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, I think that dude was like the plumber. Man, I don't know who anyone is in this god. Oh god, oh god, we're in a freaking whirlpool. <laughs> the nighttime cutscene came on. Ah. Hold on, sir. Uh, I have to wait for my powers to restore. Well, at least I made it over here. It was a bit slow, though. Maybe my expectations were a little too high. Oh, F you. Hello, aspiring carpenter. With the water flowing in the mist bag, blah 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 blah, I don't give a dang. Stupid fairy. Oh no, you- oh. God, fine, take it. Take the lily pad. Where do you want to go? It's a miracle! Now I can get to the boss's house. Okay. Boss's house? Boss's house? Can you point me in the direction of the boss's house? You, know, you seem to be pointing that way, so I'm gonna point that way. I'm gonna go that way. If you're going this way, if you're pointing that way, then I'll I'll go that way. <laughs> yep, that's the boss. Okay. So he is a carpenter. Then why the frick? You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I guess that's his house and that's his business. Well, you know what? Someone could have made that more clear. Ah, <laughs> oh, frick. Hold on, dude. I'm naked. I know you can see your destination, but I'm naked. I can't believe I managed to get here so fast. It's a miracle. My devotion to the boss is what did it. I'm perfectly nervous. I'm pretty nervous about seeing him again after all this time. Thank you. I am now a taxi. What is this, Grand Theft Auto? The curse song seems to have completely disappeared now, and there's water back in the canal. This must be the work of the gods. Now we gotta get the ferry. Oh god, I wanna get to East Street. Well, I have no idea where East Street is, but you know what? Hop on. <laughs> well, this is perfect. I don't know where it came from. I don't ask questions of miracles. I just let them happen. <laughs> Maybe East Street is this way. Doesn't look like it, to be honest. Also, there's some kind of weird sparky thing going on right there. And I don't like it. I don't really like it that much. Um, yeah, this is definitely not where East Street is. I'm sorry, we will be going back. The fairy has taken a wrong turn. Oh god, oh god, the fairy's getting a little dizzy. Oh frick, oh god, help. <laughs> okay, alright. 
Sorry about that, passengers. Oh, God, I can't double jump without my powers. <laughs> Nobody told me that. Oh God. I don't know where East Street is. This could be bad. <laughs> this could be really bad. I, I thought I would see the glowing light and it would tell me, but I don't see any. Oh, I see the glowing light. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Oh, the sun's coming up. The sun can stop now, please. I'm trying to deliver things. Ugh, give me that stupid infinity. Just please. <laughs> Can't this lily pad go a little faster? Can't you freaking be a little less annoying? <laughs> I'm gonna make some fire up here. No, that's not, that's definitely not fire. There we go, that's beautiful. <laughs> hmm, well, it wasn't very fast and you suck. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't like how she walks. And yeah, she just disappeared into the ether. Okie dokie, then. We should probably make it nighttime so we can see that ghost again. Yeah. Where is that ghost? Man, Infinity Ink lasts a, quite a while. Ooh. Don't forget the bloom that tree. Alright, yeah, I'll help you in a second. In like a long second. A bunch of seconds. Alright, Sparky, what's going on with you? Hey, Raiden. Rai means something to do with electricity, I think. <laughs> Am I right in thinking that you can actually see me? <laughs> of all the things. So the ghostly Raiden is finally spotted by a living being. And it turns out to be a cute little doggy! Lightning Ghost Raiden. Why are you staring at me like that? Okay, so I don't have any legs, but isn't that normal for a ghost in, in Nippon? I was killed by a bolt of lightning, you know. It's great. I never got hungry. I never get hungry. I never tire. It's fun all the way. There's just one problem. And that is... I've realized that it's not e always easy for ghosts. Dude, you're telling me. <laughs> I mean, it can actually get a bit boring floating around every day. I know, right? And the mortals think it's fun all the time. Whoa. And no one can see me, so it gets lonely at times. EXACTLY! <laughs> Still, it's great fun most of the time. I should be able to enjoy using my spooky powers. Okay. But, like... Anything else you want to tell me, or...? <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good day then. I I guess it's fine. What do you want? Where do you want to go? Are you out for a walk, doggy? That's horrible. I hate myself. I want weapons. <laughs> okay. Wow, look, doggy. My wish came true. This will make a perfect little bow. Take me to the weapon dealer. I want a gun. You got it! <laughs> now the weapon dealer is somewhere I know. I know where the weapon dealer is, I think, I hope. Did it. That was the quickest one yet. Wow, that was incredibly fast. Thanks, Mr. Lily. You did a great job getting there. Getting me there. Thank you. Have fun with your new... shotgun. Alright, now... Wait, I, w I, I gotta find Mr. Flower, whatever his name is, so I can, uh... What is happening there? I guess that's nothing. Okay, never mind. I gotta figure out what's with the stupid trees that won't bloom. Nice. Okay, there's Mr. Flower. But before we go to Mr. Flower, I gotta go inside this carpenter shop, because I wasn't able to before, right? Oh, what the frick? Oh, okay, my Oni symbol is gone. It was replaced with a dog, with the ugly dog that I drew. And now the kids are drawing it, and also something else. Okay, that's weird. La la la, drawing, drawing, it's so fun. What do you think, doggy? Do you like my picture? Huh? 
Oh no, I've run out of charcoal. And I was having so much fun. I want to draw another picture. I want more charcoal. Dude, you're, you're still drawing pictures that are fading into the ether after you draw them. <laughs> oh, is that charcoal you've got? Give it to me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Yay, thank you, doggy. Now I can draw another picture. Come back and see it, won't you? I'm not some ordinary kid, you know. I'm a fashion whiz. I always know what design will be the next big hit. Okay. Whatever. The waves part, and then we see a demon face across the sea. That's really disturbing. Bringing monsters in our mist. The face draws closer in the mist. My grandfather used to sing that song all the time. And then he died. It means there's an island that looks like a demon, and it's going to be bring lots of monsters here. It's scary. Have you heard of it, doggy? Nope. And I don't want to hear about it. Let me just bloom this tree right in front of you guys. You know, perform a miracle and stuff. Alright, hey, kid! North wind blows and, e and blows. To the northern sky, evil goes. The north wind blows. The north wind blows and blows. The no in the northern land, evil grows. I like your parasol. It's got my face on it. It's a song my grandma taught me. She said that scary monsters are born up in the northern lands. I wonder what kind of place it is. Have you heard of it, doggy? Yeah, what the frick kind of weird grandparents do you people have? All they sing about are demons and monsters and how we're all gonna die. What the frick? <laughs> Infinity! Yay! It's like I never use the other one. Just pots. Okay. Carpenter shop. Then Mr. Flower. Then we end the recording session. Because it's already been an hour and a half. Where the frick is the carpenter? I guess they're not here. Okay. Ooh, peaches. Alright, Mr. Flower. Tell me what to do with those cursed trees. Hold it. Can I bloom that? Let me also bloom the trees inside your house before I talk to you. Because I don't want to talk to you until I bloom them. Bloom. Oh, that's it. I thought you had more than that. <laughs> For some reason. Okay, talk to me. Oh, hello again, Pooch. Just look, the air in Saiyan City is crystal clear today. What a relief after that accursed mist that ha that covered the city. That no good mist withered all the trees I so lovingly tended to, but it's gone now, as you can plainly see. Saiyan City looks like her old self once more. Would you care to see the... Gura shuffle pooch, do not doubt my resolve. I shall dance when the time has come. But the city's wounds are deep. If I did the Gura shuffle now, I doubt my strength would suffice, and I would just collapse onto the ground and die. I mean, just look at the great cherry blossoms here on my roof. That is the sacred protector of Saiyan City, but as you can clearly see, it has been possessed by evil spirits. Ah, you're right. I can see the possession right there. Plain as day. It will take much considerable power to make such cursed trees bloom. I'm overwhelmed by the sheer number of them in the city, so I shall save my dance till the trees that aren't possessed bloom. That way I can borrow the power of the profusely blooming blossoms. Okay, well how many are left? Just two more to go. Okay, I can find those last two. That shouldn't be too difficult. Probably hiding in someone's house. So I will check all the houses. That's a cursed one. Hold it, hold it, there is this thing. Now that's one big brazier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this. Did it! Uh, did... Did it? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me. Okay, fine. I give up. <laughs> Anything in the carpenter's house? Okay. Cutscene. Boss, please, boss. Surely today's the day you'll say yes. I know I'm weak and useless. That's why the mist got to me. <laughs> but no one could be more passionate about work than me. Dude, this guy is just me in the game. I can't believe they actually programmed me in. <laughs> Please, boss, please let me be your apprentice. Duts, you hopeless dreamer. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't take apprentices? And yet you still co keep coming back and pestering me. Very well, I work you so hard you won't know what's hit you. But boss, yes, boss. 
Okay, great. I don't care about you guys at all. What is this? This is one skillfully crafted saw. I bet there ain't a tree it couldn't cut down. Isun. Why do I even bother? <laughs> Man, I thought I got all the chests. Give me that. You obtain Steel Soul Sake. I'm about to obtain Drowning. A brazier. I know they're called braziers. <laughs> I'm supposed to do something with this, probably. But what? Huh. Like that. And now we like that. Got it. And now we like these. And that. And that one. Ooh. Wait a second. I bloomed these and now they're dead. How are they dead? Well, were those the last two or did I just light those on fire? By accident. I don't know. Sun, stay in the sky. No cutscene, please. Ooh, I did it. What did that do for me? I don't know. <laughs> Look, I don't believe it. The gods must have heard my pleas. The big lanterns have suddenly come alive with flames. This must be a sign from above. The gods must be telling me to catch Hayazo. He may have gotten away with his crimes in the darkness up to now, but there's nowhere for him to hide with all this light. I can hardly wait for night to fall. Why is this... dried up? <laughs> I made a pond! I'm just doing a bunch of random stuff now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be finding two freaking tre trees, and I'm definitely not doing that. Now I'm flying up into the sky. Where the freak am I going? <laughs> Where the f What is this? What is this? <laughs> Why don't I remember this? <laughs> Why is there just a thing up here in the sky? Is this where the last two cherry blossoms are? Hmm? Amaterasu? Huh? How'd you know Amy's name? Oh, that little bouncing guy's with you too? Well, Captain Waka did say you guys were inseparable. Who are you calling little? Wait a sec, did you just say Captain Waka? That imbecile's a captain? Like Picard? Is this the Enterprise? We work under Captain Waka and he reports directly to Queen Himiko. We're the Tau Master Special Investigation Troop. But you can call us the Tau Troopers for short. What have I just stumbled upon? Tau Trooper Camo. Tau Troopers? I don't know if I like the sound of that. This is our headquarters, but Captain Waka is out on a special mission right now. He told me about you two before he left, and he said you could inspect our headquarters if you wanted. Bah, I knew that half-baked prophet was up to something. He knew you were coming. I bet the place is just crawling with traps. Keep your eyes peeled, Amy. Well, I hope it's crawling with cherry blossoms. Waka's music is playing in here. It's very churchy in here and also very futuristic. What the frick is happening on the walls? Oh, this is terrible. Just terrible. Hey, what's wrong, Chief? Listen to this. I've always been fascinated by Captain Waka. That's why I trained so hard to join the Tau Troopers. I'm still considered a new recruit. Novice Tau Trooper aid. You actually care about that half-baked prophet? Bah, this is terrible. No, no, that's not what I meant. The terrible part came after I joined. I'd only been in the Tau Troopers for a few days when I lost my Tau Mask. Each member only gets one. Tau Mask? 
Oh, you mean that thing the other guy was wearing over his eyes? What's the big deal about that? It is a big deal. The captain's going to skin me alive if I don't find it. Heh, <laughs> that half-baked prophet sure has some weird hang-ups. I went out for a walk to show off my new mask to everyone. That's when this strange man bumped into me. He must have stolen it right then. How could you not notice someone taking a mask right off from your face? Yeah, exactly. I can't believe I lost my towel mask. Each member only gets one. The captain's gonna skin me alive. Would you, would you fellows mind searching around the city? Great. And you'll tell us a secret if we find it. Cool. What are these things? I don't want to compliment that guy's stuff. <laughs> What's this thing? Hello? And go right through it. Okay. Well, as interesting as this has been, I'm going to leave. <laughs> I definitely did not expect... Whatever the frick this is. Didn't expect it. I honestly, I didn't even remember this being here. Hey, I knew there'd be a secret if I looked hard enough. Poor statue. Does that mean Waka is a uh, horse? His zodiac sign's a horse? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Good thing there's no fall damage for a god. Alright, let's make it night time for this guy. Alright, buddy, you see Hayato? He must be taking cover somewhere nearby. You just have to lie and wait. Okay. Somewhere nearby, huh? How close are we talking? Oh, shiny thing. Maybe a stray bead? A stray bead. Darn, it's a golden peach. I'm never using that. I'm looking for the two cherry blossoms that I'm missing. I hope they're not in Queen Himiko's palace area. Because that would be irritating. I can't find these last two cherry blossoms. I'm gonna have to look it up. It's all at his house. I missed the ones directly in his house. Well, at his house, anyway. There's... I'll show you. I'll show you guys. But I missed them. I missed them in the right of his house. All right, fine, guys. I'm gonna talk to Rao. Have you noticed that the mist over the city has suddenly disappeared? There must have been some change in the Emperor. We'll take credit for that, thank you very much. Hey, wait. What about you, sister? Why didn't you try to help the Emperor? Couldn't your mystical powers have located the source of that mist? I knew it! You and Himiko were up to no good! That... that was my mistake. But I'm just a priestess, you know. I can't go snooping around the Imperial Palace for no reason. Anyway, if you cleared up the mist, then I offer my congratulations. So then, now that that's resolved, it's on to the next problem. Oh, great. All of what you've done so far is amazing. However, the water dragon is a much bigger problem. No trading ships can get through, the city's food is running low, and the evil blood besieging our fair land still looms large in the shadows. Now is exactly the time we need them. If only we had the fox rods. Great. I'll talk to you about that later. Okay, bye. <laughs> today is just for side quests, all right? Side quests today. Today only. The main story can come later. Also, I'm definitely going to do some grinding off camera. And by grinding, I mean I'm going to be getting money by killing things and some demon fangs from killing things. So next time, hopefully, I will have... All the demon fang rewards. And where is Mr. Flower? Come here. Come here, Mr. Flower. I need to bloom your trees. Alright, buddy. I'll get to you in a second. First, this tree. Missed it. There's a tree behind his house. Now you guys are never gonna believe where this last tree is. It's right on his freaking head. <laughs> I forgot I could do that. All right, talk to me. At last, the time has come. Though few in number, the trees that have bloomed are lending me their power. Now I can drive away the evil spirits with my dance. I shall make those cursed cherry blossoms bloom. Sorry to keep you waiting, Pooch. At last, you shall witness my Gura Shuffle. Come along if you wish to see me dance. Are you ready? I give you the Gura Shuffle. Woo! Oh, Frick, he's, he's really going. There he goes, guys! He's dancing! 
Am I supposed to do something for him? Yep. <laughs> oh god. What are you gonna do? Walk on water like Jesus? <gasps> You're just gonna Super Saiyan jump? What the frick? Nobody told me this. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You gotta slow down, old man. Oh god, where is he going? Where is he going? Where is he going? To this one? No? Yes? Okay, phew. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no, no, God. Frick. He's so fast. He's so fast for an old man. Don't do that jumping thing again, please. Oh, good. He's, he's going to go to this one. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, no. He's going to Super Saiyan jump. No, 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 no. Oh, the old man, I'm just a dog. I am just a dog. Uh, please let that be the last one. It's not the last one. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, my good man? Where did you go? I'm serious, where did he go? This is not good, this is not good. I lost him. Oh, there he is. There he is, I see him speeding away. Please let this be the last one. Wait, no, there's still one on his house, of course. <sighs> oh god. At least I made that jump, finally. Oh! Is it your house? It's time for his house. Woo! Oh god, no! <laughs> Hold it, that wasn't the right one. I did it. <laughs> that was a close one. Almost blew my cover there <laughs> for a second. Phew, it worked, it worked. I, I got a bit of out of control there. Frankly, I wasn't sure I could drive those evil spirits away. But when I thought about how happy the people of this city would be, I knew I had to make these trees bloom one way or another. I care not whether it was my dance or the power of the gods that made them bloom. As long as the recovery of our cherry blossoms delight the people, I have no complaints. Great. And there he goes. Disappearing. <laughs> Alright, that was a nice little side quest. Um, is that tree? Alright, I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Anything else to say? How do you like our cherry blossoms out there in full bloom? As long as the recovery of our cherry blossoms delight the people, I have no complaints. It's very pretty. It's much prettier now. And I like all the petals and the wind. Okay, real quick, before I end off, there is one thing I wanted to check, and I can't remember what it was, but it was something. Oh, yes. I have so much praise points, I can buy some stuff, maybe. Yes, I can buy another ink pot. That's perfect. Alright, next is 350. Okay. What, buy health? Is that what you're saying? You, you guys are telling me to buy health? Y'all are gross. I'm not buying health. What do you think? I want to live? <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's gonna be it for this time, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode if one exists, and we will probably resume the main quest, I think. Actually, we do need that one last side quest. I might do it off camera, though, because I'm not really sure how to do it. You know, this one, where I have to find that guy. I might do that off camera. I might not. I don't know. I don't think we get too much... I don't think we get anything crazy from it, but anyway... That's me for this time, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. See you in the next episode. Bye.